Hi everybody, I'm Marissa. Welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna make a delicious type of fish. It's a garlic teriyaki cod. First thing I'm gonna do is, I got my cod laid out, and I'm just gonna make a little bit of filet. So I'm gonna cut it on up. Now that my filets are cut, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some garlic. I gotta tell you about this treasure that Carl got me. It's a little, it cuts garlic. <laughs> you know, I was struggling a bit with the garlic. So, all you do is put to your garlic, the little cloves in there. And flip this around and bang, 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 bang. Ready? Beautiful. All right, now that my garlic is chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead, I have a, a nice Ziploc bag. I'm gonna get that ready open. I also have some, ooh, what happened to it? Oh, sesame oil. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna coat the fillets with just a little bit. So I'd say maybe a, a tablespoon on each and just rub it on in. And then I'm gonna add my fillets to my Ziploc bag. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in all that garlic that I just cut up. It was about six cloves. And then lastly, uh, I am going to add in my teriyaki sauce. And I'm gonna let this marinate for up to four hours, but if you could do it for one day, it would be very delicious. So as far as like the teriyaki, how much I use, I just did enough to like really coat the fish and have just a little bit of the marinade at the bottom of my bag. So now my fish will be marinated. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator and we'll be back. So the chopper, it was a huge hit. Oh, it was a hit. Good, good, good. So, you wanna tell everyone what's new? Oh, my TikTok channel, that's what's new. Well, I know people probably wanna see some kind of fun little dance. Are you gonna do one? Mm, we'll see. All right, I just got my fish out of the Ziploc bag and I placed them on this plate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and season them up with a little garlic salt. I like to use Lurie's. Um, Cause it has a little parsley and a little other, couple other ingredients, but it's gonna give it that good garlic flavor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my pan with some sesame oil. I'm using sesame oil because this is more of an Asian fish since it's teriyaki, and it will give it that good taste. So I'm just gonna put enough in to coat the pan. Let's get things heated up in here. My oil is heated up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fish. Ooh, a nice sizzle. All right, I went ahead and I turned my temperature to a medium heat, and then I just occasionally do one of these so that the fish doesn't stick to the pan. Um, I'm looking at the color of the fish, and once it's not that oblique color, um, I'm kinda gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn and flip my fish. All right, so my fish no longer has that oblique look to it. It looks like it has some nice sear marks. Um, and it's sauteed really nice, it's really flaky. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and put it on a plate. All right, now that my fish is done, I usually like to pair it with a little rice, maybe some fried rice, since it's a Asian kind of flair. That's all I have for you today. Please follow us on Instagram. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and please make sure you subscribe. See you soon.
Kitchen.